Kirk is on the line. Kirk? Yes, hello, 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 <laughs> yes. All right, so have, have you been listening? I listened to the first 15 or 20 minutes, and then I, I, I didn't. I listened to the last call. I haven't been listening. I assume since I'm actually getting tweets about this serious radio station for the second time in like two months, the other time was when I was on with that friggin' pussy, Willie Cologne. That's the uh, only two times anyone's ever tweeted me about the station. So I imagine you're talking about me today, which is actually getting people listening to it. So congratulations. Well played. Well, I mean, you called me uh, a mouse in, in Disney World. Yeah, well, so, I yeah, I, if you I, do I, that, you, you will get talked about. Okay, now here's what, can, I, can, I, can I run down my list of complaints and then you yes. can go whichever, yeah, way, whichever uh, order you want. Lay them on me. List okay. of, the, the Minahan list of grievances. All I'm saying is this simple beginning to end. I heard the beginning. I heard your monologue at the start of the show. Some of it I agree with, some of it I disagree with. The difference, I think, and I may be wrong, is that let's just say that the situation's reversed, right, and Barstool collapsed tomorrow, and I had my own network, and I brought you in. If somebody was giving you shit as an advertiser that was unfair in my mind from day one, I wouldn't care if you were there for one day or, or 50,000 days. I would have your back, and I would be outspoken about it. Do you think that's a reasonable line of thinking? Is it just your individual podcast? What well, do you mean? Like, I... I'm running like a, a fairly large-scale company Correct. at this point. So the decisions aren't Correct. necessarily like there's things I still myself probably bite my tongue on that I would prefer not to, but we have larger issues at play. So under Absolutely. your – And I also – and I'm not done. I also heard where you said that I, I'm this new – and I understand. I'm not part of my take. I'm not the daddy girls. I'm not the, I, I understand my – position in the place my thing is you've always been i think an advocate for free speech totally you continue to be here and when somebody comes in and, and by the way yeah you, you you say you don't listen to the podcast and you say i talk about merchant all the time that's not true i don't that's so you, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about well that's busy, based on the doing social doing that it, i get you're busy you're too busy you're too busy fucking you know trying to fucking suck francis's dick to get him on some <laughs> stupid pizza review maybe you should listen pizza to the challenge. fucking podcast on your station but Instead those those thing, are know? the tweets and social and his name was in your last podcast the title. Well, so and, and so so you, so from that you extrapolate that all I do is talk about him. I think that's a, that's a bit of a stretch. I actually don't think that's stuff. a stretch at all. If you include his name no, in the title of the listen, podcast, that doesn't mean we talk about him all the time. That's poking but, him with I mean, the like, stick. Why? Tough shit. So what? Okay. But that all right. So we're back to point one then, Kirk. That's fine. Poke him with the stick, but then don't cry that we're not defending you because I think the best interest of everybody is to get this guy out of everybody's lives. No. Yeah, but that Dave, Dave, I am telling you, I am telling you that that's not how it works. I have dealt with this guy, and I understand. Like I completely understand that you don't know the whole situation. You're in the middle of an EEI. Completely understood. But if I didn't mention this guy's name ever, he would still be calling his advertisers. I know him better than anybody. Okay. So my Attitude. Now, hold on. My attitude now is I want to be done with it. I want it to blow up. I want it to end so everybody can move on and get going. I'm enjoying doing the podcast. I like it. I like everybody at Barstool. Uh, I like Erica. I like Tom. Uh, Brandon Walker is a rare talent. I like everybody there. Everybody. Wonderful. Oh, Fantastic. Sweet. Great. Sweet. I, want everyone, I want everyone to do well. Thousand percent. I'm enjoying it. I like everybody. But until this man is out of my life individually, I have mental issues. I need to deal with it. This is how I'm dealing with it. I appreciate that doesn't matter to you. I actually do appreciate that. But I'm giving it to you on my end. And I would like the guy who I technically work for to say, you know what? Fuck this guy. And maybe I'm asking too much for that. But I'm just telling you on my end, that's where I'm coming from. Right. And my is what I said earlier. And the slight disagreement we have, I, I like Mikey podcast. Right. Well, no. Here, here, here's where it is. Mikey Podcast came in and, and did mm -hmm. say he when Jerry was let go, you talked about him a lot, and that's what created the Bombos cancellation. I've been told by Erica that this guy doesn't want to talk about it anymore. So I and I know what you're saying. You have a far greater history with him than I do. The only thing I'm saying, and maybe I, my perception would change, is from where I sit, we haven't like when you say one all to go away. It's never going to go away as far as I understand it if he's being talked about. We haven't okay, let well, it Dave, breathe Dave, since so, you've so, been here. So, well, well, that's not true. I mean, I did a month, month worth of shows before Jerry was let go. I never mentioned it. Jerry was let go. I had a tremendous amount of feedback over that weekend. People wanted me to talk about that. Do you think that makes sense for me from a podcast perspective the Monday after Jerry gets fired to come on and talk about what happened? That's a good instinct, right? 
it's yeah, it's obviously something yeah, okay. you'd want to talk okay. about, but okay. It, it's okay. obvious so, that oh, by oh, talking on. about hold it, on. it was going to trigger this guy. So I so I talk about it, and this guy's reaction to me just laying out what happened. He should start cold calling advertisers again. So you don't think that was ever going to happen? Of course it was. This was, this was something that was just bubbling. It was inevitable. He had nothing to do. Jerry was gone. He's not going to call this new shitty, boring show on EEI. Even he's not crazy enough to listen to that show. So he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna start going after the one person who was left, but, me. But, Kirk, it, it, I guess, it, but my question for you, and I know it's bubbling, it, so it would be different. But you did, even what you just said, you talked about him, and it may not have been mean or mean-spirited. It may have been laying out what happens. Everything we've heard about this guy, just the mere mention, reignited it. And it's brand new here. So my advice, if everyone wants to go away, would be let's just never talk about it. And if you're right, if you never mention his name again, and he's never mentioned, and he's still calling, my interpretation, my stance may very well change. But where I sit now, it's like as long as you're mentioning him. I get it, it's an, I, have an, I, have an, I have a new name for you now. You're not Davey Mouse anymore. You know who you are because you know who gave me that advice a year and a half ago? Joe Zarbano. You're oh, Dave get Zarbano. out of here with Zambrano. That's, 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 have that's I told you, you not? You're a poor all, man's no, Joe Zarbano. Uh, that's who you are. <laughs> poor man's Zarbano. That's who you are. Man, yeah, all man's I've said is every action he used to has say a to consequence. Me, he used to say to me, I, I agree, Dave. I agree. And he said to me, you know what you do? Don't mention his name. Then he'll go away. And he doesn't. I'm, I'm, I'm in, again. You know, I know what I sound like when I say this, but I think you have some understanding that I'm not some crazy conspiratorial guy. This guy, you know the specifics of the story. It's not like I'm making up some, this guy is going to do this, and he's going to keep doing it. If you're telling me that you think it's better for me to shut up, well, that's, that's, that's I think, perfectly reasonable advice. And uh, but I, way, haven't, I like, haven't said that, have I? I've actually said it. But no, 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 you know, you haven't. You haven't quite the opposite, but, but, without, but you're saying it without saying it. You know no, I mean? I'm not. I'm okay. just saying well, if this guy is as I if I was in your shoes and I listen, I love talking. This guy sounds like a one in bazillion adversary in the sense that he's rich, maybe a little bit loopy, has all the time on his hands and is connected. I would try to mm-hmm. not engage because what's the point? I've done it throughout Barcelona where there's certain people like you know, if someone's a lawyer who loves suing people. I will probably not <laughs> engage this person because like they're going to fill out the paperwork and sue me. We haven't had the chance. I don't want any part of this guy. If you do your best effort to not bring this guy into our world and he still comes into our world, I will have a very different reaction, most likely, than Joe Zambrano. But you haven't given me that well, chance yet. The, the difference is, I think, Dave, is he is in your world now. Like, I understand you don't view me as high as you do other people. And I, like, that, I, that doesn't bother me at all. I completely understand that. But I am a person at Barstool, and I like working at Barstool. I like everybody there. So when he starts doing this, to me, he's doing it to, but you think you're Bill fucking Belichick or whatever you said earlier. I'm part of your team, whether I'm friggin', I'm probably more like Aaron Hernandez, somebody else maybe, but I'm part of the team. So that's, that's how I look at it. And I say, you know, free speech and advocacy, it has to have its place and you should be fighting for that. I don't care if I've been there for 50 years or five Well, minutes. then we, we totally disagree. Every situation is different. Yeah, that, that's yeah. an idealist I, world I, that you live in. And you said it yesterday. Correct. When I posed the hypothetical to you, you're like, I'd fire Kirk if I was Kirk in that situation. Well, you, well your, 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 your scenario is $50 million. Right. $50 million, they would fire you. $50 million is a but, stupid scenario. But the scenario, well, I mean, but, that, but I mean, that is a ridiculous scenario. But, but the, the fundamentals behind it are the Are you willing to go down with the ship? I haven't talked to this guy at all. The feedback I have been given from who you've talked to, and this is from the high up, so you say, I don't know if you think that is both Paul, both Erica, this is somebody we want absolutely no part of. I, I would agree with that a thousand percent. So if you give an honest effort to n- like, sometimes you got to bite your tongue because we want no part. Now he, if he still comes back, then, then I'll deal with that when it happens. But we haven't that you ha- for what you're saying, which is this guy's going to attack. I, 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 well, you're, so you're telling me, you are telling me right now, you can, you can guarantee this, that in the first month of the show before Jerry was fired, Bob Murchison did not contact any advertiser. You're telling me that. You I have know no idea. Fact. No, I have no you, idea. You don't even, so, 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 so let's say he did, because I didn't talk about it for the first month, because my understanding is he did. Like, I've been told he did. So let's By say who? he did. Does that change your, does that change your perspective? But you talked, to, you talked about him on the very first day, correct? Yeah, well, I laid out why. I'm okay, not so you talked about him the first day, and then you talked about him again. Yeah, but, yeah, but I talked about him a month later. I didn't, I didn't yeah, but that's when the Bonobos thing happened. 
No, this happened. <laughs> like, uh, the right, thing I is, we should be on the same page. Like, if this guy's as diabolical, what? just don't talk about him. If he still comes at us when you're not talking about him, I'm not talking for a week. I'm talking for a, six months. You haven't mentioned his name. He's still calling. You may get a very different Dave Portnoy. That hasn't happened. We haven't given this a chance to go away. And I've said, if you want to talk about it, talk about it. Just know the position you're putting us in. That's all. Well, I, well, according to you, you're not putting me in. Yeah, I'm not putting any position. This is a Kirk Minahan issue. Well, for right now, it is. He's not going after Barstool. Right. He's going after you. Correct, but I think he will because of the way he is. And you're going to. I'm as always. I'm going to be the one who takes the shit for it. Where this guy is doing something that is fundamentally wrong. It's wrong. I agree with you. I mean, you said, it's you wrong. said you said you agree with me 100 percent on this. I agree with you. Right? It's wrong. Correct. So then, I, so so then, I think, like you said, I think I'm being idealistic because this has been my situation. I take it very personally, and you're removed from the situation. I think absolutely. I think it was absolutely. So if this was me on a personal so level, when it was one person running barstool, and and, and I would probably right. treat well, I, it very differently. Correct. You would be acting like I was. I know you well enough to know that you'd be acting the same way. I don't disagree with that. So then, what? So I don't know what your issue is then. Well, my issues, you said we didn't, like, I don't think you could realistically expect us to stop everything and, and, and basically go after this that. guy right never, now. Never said that. Never said that. Never said that. I didn't say to stop anything. I don't want anything to stop. It's a huge ship, and I'm a very small part of it. I'm happy. I've said all along, I'm happy to do my thing, do my show, get out, and stay out of the way. And I, do I, if I, in two months, have I ever asked you for one shred of promotion? No. Anybody? No, nothing, nothing. I haven't asked for anything. Nothing, not right. a single so, so, thing. So, 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 what are we so, so? So, why am I a mouse in Disneyland then? Well, I think you have become certainly as you as, as the company's been sold. You become more of a mascot than a, than you know. You're sort you of a, I, a so. You think I'm like a, a a cuddly mascot right now? Yeah, there's a little bit of Kermit the Frog sort of Mickey Mouse aspect to it now. Where you kind of you kind of dance and put on the suit, but that's listen. In what kind of world? How am I the? I'm the guy that nobody wants to touch. Oh, who doesn't want to tell you? You're hanging out with friggin', you know, Soledad O'Brien and Paris Hilton. Soledad Solid and and O'Brien said I was a going, vile going, person. Going, she literally going, called me going, vile. Going, she called you that. That's your example? Soledad and Brian called me vile. These events. You she, become, and now you're, now you're the she guy. called me vile. That example you just used it, it, blew up your argument. And, and you're, you, the first and, name and you and said was someone who called me vile and the worst thing she had to do with her career. You're the guy who's like, yeah. You know, free yeah, free speech. Yeah, so what? Like, keep your mouth shut, man. Hand. Yeah, that's the way we do with the bar. So keep Hold your on. mouth shut. Yeah, let me let me make it. something very that's, clear. That's, that's, and that's I've kind said of, this. That's kind of the attitude. I've now. said this from day one. I am free speech. I love free speech. I love my wallet more. I've never confused that. Yeah. Oh, fine. I understand. I don't. Well, then you, then then keep going after this guy. But that's when we're going to end up in the situation we're going to be ending up in. But people yeah, are saying I, I become I Mickey I, I Mouse. Think... This is never Mickey Mouse. I'm the guy who said if LeBron James said he liked Dave Portnoy, Dave Portnoy would like LeBron James back. Okay, so you've always been Mickey Mouse, you're saying? No, I've always been do okay. what's best for Barstool. Right, and I, and I appreciate that on your end. I don't have an issue with that. My thing is I am not, you know, I think you're asking me without asking me. You're trying to be like a parent. You're asking without asking me to stop doing this. And I'm telling you, I personally want resolution. And I know if I stop talking about it, it won't be resolution. I'm going to hear, oh, you know, he's been bothering this guy. He's been bothering that guy. How and is I that? that in my life. I, but but go ahead, go if ahead. that gets to that point, then it's a different ball game. You haven't give, you're just saying, trust me, if I stop talking about him, he's well, gonna, Dave, he no, won't I'm stop. You, nobody knows more about this than me. Nobody. But I, you, I mean, you, I am, you're, I, you're not giving me the chance to see. I'm, you're just saying, trust me, if it doesn't matter what I do, he's still going to come at us. I, well, that's a fact. I mean, that's, that's well, a fact. Well, well, by the way, it's not like... Let's right. see that fact. So, now, so that's what I'm saying. You're saying not don't talk about. No, it. I'm not. If you want to talk about, if you, you feel you compelled, just said that. you, you if just you said. Want, no, if you want to feel compelled to talk about him, he's going to respond clearly. And whether, if that starts bleeding into Barstool's business, it's going to be a hard decision for us. You know that you're putting me in that position. No, I don't think it's a hard decision. No, I think you guys will let me go. And I think that's, and by the way, like, you know me, I, that's, I understand business as well. That's the way it goes. I mean, that's, that's life. But you also say you want a resolution to it, yet, like, you won't give the opportunity for the barstool people to see, you know, if, I said to Eric on the phone, I said, if he doesn't talk about him, this guy's coming after it, I would most likely, you could bring Erica in here. I basically said, if that happened, 
My personality, I'd be more willing to flush all the advertising down and figure out a different way to do it. But you haven't stopped talking about him. To me, that put okay, that that's you're not okay. you're not like helping okay, for us. me. But okay, but if you fine, but if you listen to the show, when, I know you don't listen to it. What I try to do, and it may be different than other shows, is I try and show what's going on. And you've talked about this as well. The world is a very strange place. We live in a place now where people can do things like this and try and limit free speech. And if you do that, you get shitty, boring fucking shows. Agreed. My point is not so much this guy individually. It's what it's leading to. So now you lead to a world where shows suck. You see it on the AI. You see it all over the place. So my thing is not even this guy individually. It's a bigger issue than that. And that's the kind of stuff that I find interesting and I like to talk about. And now you're asking me not to talk about Well, that. no, there's two that's different things because you just said you want a resolution and never talk about this guy before, but you don't think he'll ever stop. Now you're saying it's more of a, a, a high principle. No, 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 so no, no, no. which one is no, no, it's both. Well, it's also part of the podcast. I find it to be compelling. You're also, what I'm saying is you're asking me to take away a part of the podcast that I find compelling. Okay, well, that's very different well. than you wanting a resolution. That's you talking about him nonstop. No, no, no. I'm saying in addition to. I think there's. I think it's multifaceted. It's also but for me this, individually. This sounds to, to me. Show, it's a, this portion of the conversation sounds to me like you enjoy talking about him because it's interesting. That's putting us in correct. a potentially tough that's spot, correct. which you know you're putting us in. Yes. Well, I mean, tough shit. You have a lot of money. The company. Oh, so so you, now you don't want people putting you in tough spots. You just want easy sailing all the time. That's it. No, so that's fine. But but that that, that is my exact point. What do you want? You, you've been here for two weeks. You knowingly are going to put us in a tough spot. That could cost you your no, job. No, no, I no. What I'm doing is as I'm trying to be as interesting as possible. I'll talk about the most compelling stuff. And that, to me, sometimes is the most compelling part. My show is a day in day out show. So then talk about him. But we what? know what's going to happen if you talk about him. We also know what's going to happen if I don't talk No, we don't. That's where we disagree. Yes, I do we, not know yes, that. We, Dave, Dave, we didn't talk about him on EI. We were told by your buddy Joe Zarbano and Mark Hanna not to talk about him. We didn't talk about him for a year, and he didn't stop. A year. A full but year. But what we don't stopped. inherit the WEI. This is a fresh start. Okay, okay. But I do. But part of but I have that, 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 that exists to me. I think you better than anybody understands. You know, when you have a real, I heard at the beginning of the show, we hate each other, not you and I, uh, myself and Murchison. We hate each other. You right. must, to some level, respect that hate. Totally, I respect that hate. And I haven't told you, you not to saying? talk about him. It's just... it. But I, you have without... Uh, all right. No, I haven't. Right. I'm just saying it's going to... You could go do a subscription, whatever. I'm just saying, if this guy is as diabolical, and I do believe you, that he's as diabolical as you are saying, and you continually, because you find it interesting or whatnot, you don't really, you've said both. You said you want him out of your life resolution, but it's free speech and it's interesting. It's part of your podcast. It, Correct. Well, he's never going to be out of your life if you keep talking about him. He's not going to, okay, we're not going to go in circles here, but okay, fine, gotcha. I mean, I, I think I understand your side, you understand mine. What, how, have the callers been pro or anti me today, or 50 50? 50. Your, your first Minahan fan called up and really made an asshole out of himself. He said, You're, I believe that. He said, Listen, you're Bill Parcells, and, and somebody's you're Belichick. Bill Parcells, Minahan is right? Belichick. And, and you've got Belichick coming in here. That's really, to put it in terms that you can understand, I know. I know I've got to dumb everything down and make it a sports analogy for you, Dave, but that's really what you have here. I'm sorry. You're not Parcells. You're not Brady. You just said I was Parcells. You literally just said I'm Parcells. That was the first. That was the first call. Not a great. Not 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 a great call. Not, <laughs> not a great. Call. And Kirk, I, and, and here's the thing. I really do like you. I think you're supremely talented. I know this guy's been a headache and all that. So I get. I'm on your side. But I think you understand. Also, it's not just Dave Port and I do, like doing a, a, a little thing. Understood. So understood. that's all. I I I I understand that. I and, understand and I that. honestly, times when I'm get, not when subtly get, telling. Get, I'm not subtly telling you not to well, talk about him. It is your choice, uh, Tom. Tommy, do you think that? It seems really? like the resolution here is that if Kirk is going to keep talking about him, he won't have the backing of Barstool. But if he stops talking about him for a few months and this guy continues, then Barstool will well, come to it. And I would say this. I would add this. Well, thank you for recapping the conversation. Well, well no, you asked. Well, you but, asked me. Yeah. Based on everything, that was that was my, it's not. My, it's not you know, It's not uniform. That we won't have your back. I don't know what this guy does. I mean, you've told me. I I have to see it unfold, but it sounds like from what you're saying, it's going to unfold in a way that's going to put myself, Erica, in very uncomfortable conversations that the only chance to avoid it is never mention it. And you say that won't matter, but I'll tell you this. I'm a thousand percent 
a thousand percent more likely to have your back and be like, okay, advertiser, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, because this guy, if I think you've given it a legitimate effort to not talk about him, which I don't think you've done so far. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, I think we can have the same conversation. We've been going in circles now for 20 minutes. True. So we just yep. d- disagree fundamentally. I do That's like all. you, Kirk. I like you too, Kirk. Okay, well, good, Love good, you, good for you. I Even though you call me a wonderful. mouse in Disneyland, I've never been called a Disneyland mouse before. And a pussy, too. And a pussy. Yeah. And then, oh, you're hanging out with Soledad O'Brien. She called me vile. Mm-hmm. That wasn't like best you friends. You didn't, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't weigh in on this during the month that you were gone. Did you think Willie Colon was a pussy during that whole thing? I need. I, I. He has no idea what you're talking about. No, I know they got in a fight, but I don't know enough to. No, I. I don't really know. Willie. You know anything? They Willie got. In a, I know they got in a fight. Where I'm sitting right now, uh, Kirk came on with us for CCK, and Willie. Is that Columbus? Just, He's yeah. been here the whole time. Yes, uh, no. and then uh, Willie kind of just sat next to him and didn't say anything. As as right. as for like he got attacked. Columbus, no, no, no. what's your yeah. take on this whole thing? Uh, I said earlier that I, I kind of understand both sides where, like, I would be... a boy. Good take. <laughs> can I finish, Kirk? Thank you. You may. Go ahead, please. I apologize. The, I, I can understand why you would be pissed where it's like, I, you know, Barstool is known for getting in the mud and, and, and defending their own, but I can certainly they see... Were known for, they were known for getting in the mud. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but to Dave's point, though, it's like, why would he inherit this dude that clearly has a lot of power to yield in, in in the advertising world where it's like, all right, now who else would he fuck over for no reason? Like this could spill over to other shows. Like he can't have that. I think that's, I don't think that's, yeah, I don't think that's unreasonable. And I saw you refer to my fans as psychopaths. I, no, I, I said, uh, I said that they, they were, were radicalized. Yeah. Like radicalized yeah. internet. Well, Kirk, we got guys being no, like, we're, we're, we're dead. It, we're, we're dead. If Kirk Minahan leaves, it's like, he's only well, been I, here for a cup I, of did, coffee. Did, 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 I, did I say that? No, I, I said that. your fans. I didn't say no. you. I said your fans. Well, don't you, I mean, well, don't you appreciate the loyalty of the fans? Yeah, yeah that's why we hired you. <laughs> All right, fine. Goodbye. All right. Bye, Bye Kirk. Kirk.